podcast webinar or live stream you need recording grandma studio it's what your grandma would have wanted right folks how are we all this is our christmas edition Ho, ho, ho. Of, ho, uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had to start again because I fucked up, folks. <laughs> uh, this is our Christmas edition of the Three Ps in a Podcast. Not a festive edition, Christmas edition. I'm fed up with this word of festive. I fucking hate it. Absolutely hate it because it's not Christmas, is it? Not at all. It's festive. It, festive isn't Christmas. It's no. just a word to include we everybody. Call it build up to Christmas. The, well, this, uh, yeah, because I'm hoping this is going to go around at about the 19th or 20th. So I suppose oh, yeah, that's God. the build up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So by the time they've edited it and all that, they've done it. Uh, so this is a podcast, folks. Uh, look us up on Audio Boom, so that will lead you to Apple, Spotify, and all the other things that you can listen to us three talk shit on. Hello. And sense. And sense. And advice. And advice. Chris is full of advice. Uh, this is recorded at Grandma's studio. You can hear hi, here, hire this place in Loughborough. So if you want to do a podcast like us three, just Get along to Grandma Studio, hire it, and they'll do all your editing for you. Once again, thanks to Jasmine for the artwork. I might not use the artwork on this one, though. I might use it as a kind of festive thing. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and if anybody wants to sponsor us. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I use PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into that. Yeah, so if anybody <laughs> wants to sponsor this uh, podcast, because apparently it's getting quite popular as such, the figures are going up, you know. Oh, yeah, is I've got some money for you. For me? Yeah, because you know when we did that uh, podcast, yeah, I got 35 quid and I said I'd give you the um, thingy to give to MS. Nice. So there's 40 notes Thank there, you, mate. thank you. That's thank all right, you. folks. So when people, if people look back and say, oh, you ain't giving him that money... Fucking hell. Thank you. I'll there you go. So in this podcast, we're going to talk... Oh, no. Yeah, that's all right. I've, got, I've, got, I've done a script, you see, folks. Uh, in this podcast, we're going to talk of uh, Christmases, memories and stuff like that. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So we're not going to talk too topical and all that, but uh, it's Christmas time, so there's no need to be afraid. <laughs> that's what the words were, wasn't it? It's Christmas yeah. time. There's no hey, need who to... who sang the be... opening line? Oh, fuck. I don't, can't remember. Sting. Sting? Yeah. Yeah. Did What's you that was? Yeah. yeah, did Brilliant you know? Song. That's on, isn't it? Keep an eye on that AD, make sure that bloody recording, you got one job. Um, <laughs> um he's in that uh, die straights thing, isn't he? I want my MTV. Oh, Money for nothing. Yeah, that's him. He's he's singing that. Oh, you know when it? I that that must have been 1985, and I always remember seeing the video and I thought this the special effects were out of this world. Look like Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they had those guys and he had a cigar. Yeah. And they were like blocking. Yeah, it. yeah. And oh I, I thought it was brilliant. And because it was also that era where you had Queen and they did that video. It's kind of magic, you know, for yeah. Highlander. Yeah. Yeah. Connor, I so wanted to have your babies. I cried at Highlander. Made me cry. I thought it was a brilliant film. Yeah, I did. Absolutely. If you watch it back now, I thought they were it's uh, so cheesy. Yeah. I thought that was a Madonna bra then. So anyway, oh, yeah. I've bought some crackers. What the fucking hell are they? God, I ain't seen them like that before. There you go, folks. They're but crackers. I would say. Sorry, it looks like those lights <laughs> Sorry. My bad. My bad. It's uh, it's my new phone. <laughs> I'm really sorry about it. I'll switch it off now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, honestly, I'm going to switch it off. Oh, clarity. That's it now. People will see Chris and fucking mug him. Matrix. Uh... Look at that. That's a posh fit. phone, that is. It is, isn't it? I'm just, I'm just going to fold it now. Switch it off. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe it did that. Oh, I can't. I thought you'd done that on purpose. <laughs> no, I swear. I've never seen him like that before. No, so, I was going to say for the visually impaired, but my uncle has passed away. Oh, is he? Uncle Steve's dead. When? Uh, yesterday morning, about nine o'clock. So it is, that. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's one of them things. Hey, fucking life and death, isn't it? So how old was it? Uh, I think about seventy-three. So I don't class that as old. No. Oh, well, it happens, doesn't it? Anyway, we're talking yeah. about Christmas. I ain't talking about him. Monkey Steve won't want this. Uh, I've got some crackers, mate. Here you go. I don't know how oh, we've. Dear. Don't... Yeah. These are a bit. They're posh, they are. They are, aren't they? How do you do? 
These are I've the seen. second lot of crickets I've, uh, crackers I've bought. We bought some that there were nothing in them. All oh, right. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Where'd you get these from? I'm hoping for good Tesco's. Um, good think. prizes, isn't it? Uh, no, um, Wilkinson's, I think. What's the smell of burning? All oh, right. I think they're about five quid. It's metal. Go. Oh, there you go. I'm going to pull my own. Like proper key ring. Yeah, no. I'm going to pull my own. I'd have pulled it with you, Dave. Oh, I bet you would. Oh, look, it's a cake cutter thing. Look, look, you can do cakes. Now, what's the point of that? What is the point of a crack, a, a, a cake press thing, <laughs> on Christmas Day? You're not going to cook on Christmas Day, are you? Right, read the joke then, Christopher. Um, well, yeah, you can smell the burning, can't you? Can, can't you? Right. right. Oh, the... that's the bag. Do you want me to read this while you're yeah. doing that? Right. Yeah. I've got. And then we'll pull that one. Why did the donut maker sell his shop? Hang on, is that again? Why did the donut maker sell his shop? Because he. I don't know. Oh, you were close. He got <laughs> fed up with <laughs> the old business. He got, fe he got fed up with the old. Business. Hole in the donut. Yeah. That's pathetic. It is, isn't it? And the question oh, and you even get a question on it. All oh, right, so value yeah. for money. Yeah. How many sides does a snowflake have? Four. Snow idea. No. Oh. Six. Six. So they, they must be proper the oh, right. question must be proper. Well, there you go. That one. Oh we've got to open that. Sorry for the rustling folks. No, you pull it, I'll do that. All right, go on. Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what these are? These are woke uh, woke crackers. So somebody always wins. So you don't have a fight ah. at the table. You know what I mean? I know it's a bit off the script, but I need to talk to you about an advert, a Christmas advert, and everyone's thoughts on it. Oh, but right. is that that I one? What we're not real talking about. I bet about. he's not read the script, has he? No, it? yeah. He I know which one that's. Which one? What's that? Is it the gay Santa? No. Oh, All right. All right. Right. The, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. What did the Christmas tree say to the decoration? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't realise they could talk. Aren't you tired of hanging around? Oh, for sake. Yeah. Question: <laughs> A father is four times as old as his son. In twenty years, he will be twice as old. How old are they now? I'll read it again. So yeah. You've got to remember we worked to Canon. Yeah. You need a calculator. <laughs> you need a Casio. Yeah. yeah can you talk right. into the mic as well? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when it's time. Um, a father is four times as old as his son. Right. So four times as old as his son. In 20 years, he will be twice as old. How old are they now? He's 20. Uh, the, now, I'd say the old boy's... Oh, fuck knows. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> no, you, were sort of, you were close. The father is 40. Yeah, and the son's 20. He's half his age now. Right. The answer's <laughs> in the question. I know it is, but you've got the to work it out. The father is four times as old as his son. Right. In 20 years... He will be twice as old. Yeah. How old are they now? <laughs> I can't get my head around it. I eat burgers for a living, for fuck's sake. The father is 40 and the son is 10. All oh, right, got you, right. Yeah. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Okay. It's easy when you've got the fucking answer there. Uh, <laughs> Joe, what do you call a couple of spiders who've just got married? To gauged. To what? To <laughs> I don't know. New, newly webs. Mm. Awful. Uh, and the question is, what is the name of the orangutan in the Jungle Book? Oh, Blue. Oh, I know this. No, Blue with a bear. Blue with a bear, yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Oh. Blue bar. <laughs> I don't it? know. I don't know. King Louie. Louis. King Louie, that's it. Right. I watched this thing. <laughs> I, hey, I, I got shot. some eggnog as well. Eggnog. No, it needs to be racist. <laughs> I knew that would come in. <laughs> I knew <laughs> that would come in. It's just a joke, folks. Yeah, so we don't, don't want none of this. There you are. Mad. You got some lemonade. Eggnog. You know how to have eggnog, don't you? It's a snowball. 
Yeah, but I've, I've, no, no, you've no, never I've, done it. No, no. Eggnog. There you go. What you do? That you looks like it. It's yeah, lovely. It yeah, absolutely had lovely. For years. My mum used to have that all the time at Christmas. You know. Right. Hang on. There's a cardinal rule. Do you pour? You got to pour the eggnog in first. I don't know. Is it like a Cornish lemonade? Not a Cornish pasty. Cornish ain't a lot of that. Cornish I'll tea. I've done for drink driving. I think there's about two percent alcohol in that. I think yeah. there's, I think think there's more loads. alcohol. Is God it? almighty. Oh, yeah, no, you got, you got to shake it. it. you got to do Tom Cruise, ain't you? That's one thing what reminded me of Christmas. Do you remember Debbie Gibson? That. Yeah. Remember that song? Shake your love. I've got to shake your love. Remember? <laughs> yeah, I do. Bloody <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh, shit. She did. That was, that's, ah. that was Christmas at our house. That's when you knew Christmas I've got some was. different hats. I've got these hats as well. Ready, Aid? Yeah, don't give me loads. I won't. I give quarter. The bottle. That's, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Dave? Yeah, here we go. Do you want half? Yeah. Do you want all of it? <laughs> what percentage is that? I'll do it, I'll do it so I ain't going to get no lemonade in. you got got lemonade in as well, eh? Anyway, I bought some hats, but they ain't going to go on because of the fucking things. Do you want the humbug hat? For me? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go on. Then. Yeah, go on. Here you go, then. God, I'm always... What, what percentage is that? It's like... Like, 2%. No, it's a yeah. lot when you don't really drink much. <laughs> it's oh, yeah, like drinking do, Shandy yeah. Bass. No. So... What right. do you guys think about Barbados being independent? Oh, good. The Republic. Yeah. Why not? Communist. You know what makes me laugh? Being tickled under the arms. It's just how... <laughs> You know I'm a big royalist. Yeah. And when the Brits colonised Barbados, they killed so many and mm. enslaved so many. This was in the early 19th century. And yeah, you had Prince Charles giving a brilliant speech saying, they deserve this. They weren't saying that when they were getting whipped and hanged. No. So, has, Ch has China funded this? Because I think China fund most things, don't they now? I don't know. Keep it out of that one. Um it was just interesting to watch and the speeches and stuff. And yeah. It was the same with India when India became independent. Has Charles had to um, self isolate when he's come back now? <laughs> Has he, Bob? It's <laughs> what do you think to the uh, snowball then? Is it festive for you, Matt? Oh, Christmas? No, Keep around. I quite like that. It's quite yeah. nice. Nice, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. Get the missus to get some. You can sit there, Christmas Day, feet up. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so, anyway, let's start. Um, Merry Christmas. Lads. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, all. Merry Christmas. Uh, let's start with the mention of Santa being gay. Uh, the Norwegian <laughs> Postal <laughs> Service, Posten, uh, that's a good name, isn't it? Uh, now then, like, most conversations like this, everybody goes, I'm not anti-gay, or I'm not, <laughs> don't they? But yeah. we're not, are we? We're not gay people, are we? Yeah. You know. Uh, but uh, this is just wrong on my account, because... Mm. Santa's about magic, isn't he? He's about children and that. There's no need to sexualise. Yeah, it's struggling, isn't it? I forgot all about the fucking earphones. Yeah. Put yours on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Is the camera still recording? Yeah. Uh, so, Santa's about magic, isn't he? You don't need to be gay. You don't need to be straight or bi or trans or anything, is it? It's, you know, it's... It, it, you don't need him to be going out on his sleigh having an affair, do you? And coming no. back like Philip Schofield. No. no, not really, no. So, what's your thoughts on it? And I'll tell you mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm, just leave Santa as Santa. Santa for the, for the kids, it. keep something for the kids. Just leave it as it is. You know, I haven't got anything against being gay or anything like that. You do what you want to do. But... Just leave Santa alone. Yeah, just leave Santa just alone. Just leave him alone. That should be it, isn't it? It's a bit like Grey yeah. Jill. Yeah. Just say no, just leave Santa alone. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, my thoughts are this. When we grew up watching Spider-Man, the TV series, or... Um, I don't think we've ever done a podcast without him talking about and, superheroes. Lois and Clark. And when I went to the cinema and saw Christopher Reeve fly for the first time. So when I, you're like seven, eight years of age, you're really impressionable. And they were white, Caucasian. But I didn't go away thinking, 
no, that seems unfair. We should have a black thing. I, yeah. that, and that stuck with me. So when I was a kid, and I used to go to primary school, and you'd get the little letter box, you remember? Yeah. And everyone saw, Father Christmas was white, and he had a Mrs. Santa Claus, and he'd have his little, and, and that's what he did. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. Now, when I watched that video, I got it, understood where they were going with it, but, and I'm the same as Eddie, I've got nothing against, you, you can't help who you fancy. No. So but You can't help your sexuality, the basic, no, what no, I'm saying, because you're born that way. Yeah. And um, I'm not going to do that cliche when people say, oh, I've got friends and or yeah. family members that are gay, so yeah. I love gays, yeah. and all that. Because In I the have... Cliff Richard accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I watched it, I thought it's interesting, but I still felt uncomfortable yeah. with it. It didn't sit right with me because I was, I've was i been brought up with Santa and Mrs. Santa. And when you watch, who's the late Dudley Moore? Yeah. Great film. You know, so let's say I was seven or eight and... Yeah, but this father, is what they're aiming for. Yeah, yeah. To get at you. a new generation. Yeah. And Santa Claus uh, had a Mr. Claus. That would be normal to us. Mm. So if, like, I'm 50 now... You're 62. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, <laughs> he's not really. I'm really joking. Uh, Ageist. Yeah. So if I saw that now, it would be the norm. So if I saw Santa Claus with Mrs. Claus, I'd be, oh, that's weird. Yeah. So uh, what I'm, in layman's terms, what I'm trying to say is I understand where they're going with it. I just didn't feel comfortable. Yeah, but don't you think this is going to create some kind of host hostility towards the gay community? No, I, I, I give my reason. The young people are taking over now. We are becoming on the backfire. Yeah, because if you watch any demonstrations, it's young white middle class. That's mm. that's the way it is because we can't be bothered. I don't even like going out during the working week. No. So if someone says to me, "Oh, Chris, you're going to come to that demonstration?" Nah, mate, I'm going to have a cup of tea and on that city. Yeah, fuck it. Because I've lost it. that yeah. fight, that fire, that passion. I, I like being at home. Yeah. Mm. I, I I just think it's like, they shouldn't be doing it because Santa isn't about sex. You don't, you know, and all that, like, with the bloke going up, he's, he keeps coming back every year, but nothing happens. They sit there chatting. Then all of a sudden, one it's year... It's the kids, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so all of a sudden, Santa's yeah. used fucking... Who are they called? Poston or whatever that mm. fucking some shit Norwegian company that probably don't deliver on time anyway. <laughs> it's it, there's no need for it. It's about kids, isn't it? It's just mm. for the joy for the kids, for the presents yeah. to come. It's exactly it's there, it's isn't it? The old Santa, you know, it's for them. It's, it's for the Scandinavian, kids. isn't it? Fucking mm. log cabins and saunas and stuff and that. Mm. But I don't know. It's just we have to move with the times. But I don't don't you think that sometimes you don't have to move because to get Some things you don't to get that to, message yeah. over of accepting and tolerating and becoming as one you don't need to do that. I I, I just think it's fucking wrong. Another example, and this is what I, was, I said about the adverts and stuff. If you look now, since Black Lives Matter, I'm not going to get political, so I'll be super super quick. Since then, every TV company have pushed it in your face, mm. where Mixed every advert couples. there's. A ginger egg girl with a mixed race guy. They've got two half caste kids. There'll be two lesbians. There'll be one lesbian. A mate has lost a leg. Alton they, Towers. Yeah, they're just trying to like appease everyone. But every advert has got a black person in it. There's mm. even this one called Arnold Clark Cars. Right? Yeah. And the whole family's black. Yeah. Now, before this BLM. You'd see it, but no way. No, not as, as much as now. As this. Not, not as much as Nowhere now. Nowhere near. Nearly and every then, advert. This new bloody Christmas advert I had this old bloke, and he went to the shops, and there was a white father Christmas. His son, who was black, and he had two little black kids, the kids gave him a present. He opened up. It was a, a stocking filler with him, the granddad, as a black Santa. Have you seen that? No, I've not seen it. Is and that I'm the just, one you're on about? Now? Yeah. Is that the one you're and on I'm just talking? thinking, what's wrong? With you? Why are you forcing it? Because yeah. that is when people will start to get sick. Yeah, 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 this yeah. is what I'm saying. This is, when you're forcing it on people, when it you, down. Yeah. people tend to go the other way. And I'm not going to go and 
beat a gay person up or anything because of a fucking Santa advert for posting in Norway. But other people will go, I'm fucking fed up of this. Mm. I've had enough. Definitely. So, so that's that one done. Yeah. Sorted that, ain't we? Have we? I don't know, really. Well, we've discussed it. It's out yeah. there, folks. You can all discuss this while you're chomping on a turkey. I think the conclusion is we understand why they've done it, yeah. but we don't feel comfortable yeah. with it. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. yeah. I think it's... And I'll tell you something else. These kind of things, do they cheapen being gay? They're trying to make it fashionable. Yeah, and I think it's wrong. I think it's just... I think they're just cheapening in people's sexuality. And they're also promoting their own company through it. That must have had so many hits worldwide yeah. of people watching it. Mm. It's just an advert for advert's sake. Mm. And it's wrong. And I, Well, I personally think it's wrong. I personally think they're actually using a gay person's sexuality to profit themselves. Yeah. And that's been going on for years. Yeah. So, that's the thing. How's your eggnog going, lads? It's quite nice, but I can I taste can't. quite... Can't you taste it? Yeah, I, I can't drink anymore. How ah, come? Cool. Because it's gone to my head. Seriously? Already? Seri seriously, yeah. Because you haven't drank properly for ages. No. Do you want a whiskey? No. Okay. I'm driving, eh? What about a one of those liqueurs? Liqueurs? Eat, yeah, a chocolate with a piece of brandy. Oh, in. I'm okay at the moment. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, so, it's that time of year again, lads. When hey, did, I just Did you watch the last podcast when... He put the lad behind who does the editing here, he put like the technical difficulties thing up. <laughs> oh, fucking brilliant. That's clever. Brilliant. Did yeah, it. it is clever. Uh, so it's that time again when they celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus, when his mother Mary and his surrogate dad, surrogate yeah. dad, what's all that about, uh, travelled 90 miles for five days to get to Bethlehem from Nazareth on a fucking donkey. It's a long way, isn't it? What country is Nazareth in? I don't know. Does it still exist, or is it one of them? No, it's still there. Is so it? Is that is that where he actually comes from then, Nazareth? Born there. Uh, he no, was born, born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem. That's a no, well no, known his fact. His mum and dad. His mum and dad. Where? His dad's God. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you're saying, but it's Israel, isn't it? Yeah, it's Israel. It's, it's around that it's area, isn't it? So uh, all Israelis white. Yeah. Yeah, with blue eyes. Yeah. Mm. That's what I was thinking about it's when just... I was home. <laughs> I can't believe... You know, you know, there's another thing as well. You know, talking about the uh, West Indies and that being... Why are they, they're gods all nice, pure white? And that's because they were colonised, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. That's why... It's it? how they see Jesus. And, yeah. and this is why it's I right, can't get my head around yeah. why billions of people believe in that. Yeah. I just can't get my head around I just around don't believe it. in none of it, to be fair. And if you believe in Jesus, do you believe that mankind only happened 3,000 years ago? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Even though... We've got bones. Birth, yeah, like Homo sapien was a, a woman from Ethiopia from 250,000 years ago. Because they yeah. stepped to bones. And you Haven't they seen Raquel, well, Raquel Welsh in that <laughs> dinosaur film? Well, oh, it's good. called 10,000 BC. Yeah. And she was... Dunning, yeah, it? she was, wasn't she? Uh, anyway, it's often referred yeah. to as the nativity trail, that, when they get on the donkey. Uh, schools all over the world will be dressing up as sheep and shepherds and prawns and fucking Daleks and everything else that they can fit into a nativity. So and the wombles. fat kids. Wombles. Now, that would be a good one in the nativity. Yeah. They could be going around picking up, couldn't they? Yeah. What were yeah. you? What were you in your nativity? Oh, in the choir. What were you? <laughs> 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 Sorry for that snigger, folks. That wrong. Um, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I think I was one of the wise. Well, I was wise, wise men. He was there. He was there at the, in the stable giving today's word of the day. <laughs> I had this massive pregnancy. Like Afro. Oh, for fuck's sake. Afro Shepard. Yeah. Um, hey, come on, it's Michael Jackson <laughs> fucking moonwalking. And had these Gola trailers. Remember Gola? Gola. Yeah. yeah. God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think I was in the choir because I could sing. I think I still can sing. I don't think I'm like Gary Barlow or anything, but I think I can still sing. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Mary's on a donkey because obviously she couldn't get a fucking ambulance. Uh, and she, uh, she had to have a uh, PCR test as well, so she fucking <laughs> couldn't go in. And then she couldn't get a fucking Uber. And there you go. They got there eventually. Uh, about 100 miles 
they had to travel, so they said. I don't know why I've put How 100 miles. Take, uh, five days. For 100 miles? Yeah. It's like us driving, uh, walking from here to London. Yeah. Okay. Poor donkey. Yeah. Yeah, poor donkey carrying her. For fuck's sake. Well, she's got to sit. I wonder if she sat side saddle or cross leg over, cocked her leg over. What would have happened if she had twins? Oh, that's a fucking good question. There's a put it in the bot in the comments, folks. What, what would have happened? There? So you had Jesus and Joseph. Yeah. Or no, Josephine. Josephine. So what would happen then? Probably the first one who come out. Well, it'd be the one that Priority. could. It'd be the one that could do the miracles, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. But in those days, could you have Jesus as a woman to lead everyone? Oh, I don't know, really. That would have been good, wouldn't it? Interesting. Debates we have on this podcast. That's a good one, that was, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, so they walked along the River Jordan, or the Jordan River, through the hills. Uh, they got there was no hotels, just like Christmas every fucking year, and you can't get a a hotel for love and the money. Uh, I bet Mary gave him a right bollocking, didn't she? I bet she going, "You fucking idiot! Why didn't you phone up?" Why don't you phone up? Bollocking. I'll go mad yeah. asking how the hell she got pregnant in the first well, place. Well, this is what I was going to say. You yeah, know, Virgin you Mary. By an hotel. Yeah. I said, how dare you? <laughs> yeah. You've been having sex. Yeah. With Roman soldiers. With an yeah. behind my back. Because we ain't had sex for two years, girl. Yeah. That's what I'd say. That's married life. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, right, they have the baby Jesus. Then I think he has like four or five brothers. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, why do we know that Joseph weren't firing blanks? We don't know. We, really. ne we never we'll know. Never know. Well, Not really. Well, this is the fucking tiredest moment, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, uh, she gave birth, put him in a manger. That's a trough, in it, for where you feed these animals. Uh, so, they got along there with the uh, Mother of the Year Award with Katie Price and the fucking McCanns with that <laughs> one. So and Kerry Katona. Kerry Katona. Yeah, what went wrong with her? Drugs. Oh, I really like Kerry Katona. And then it's when, just like. When she first started off, she was lovely. Mm. And then. Drugs. He dumped her, didn't he? Him Brian from. McFadden. Yeah, he dumped her. He must have yeah. seen something that were happening and just like, fuck you, I'm off. Yeah. Yeah, I like Kerry drugs. Katona. Just gets you down in drugs. Yeah. I don't know, I've never done drugs. No, well, I haven't, but it does, doesn't it? It just shows you. Yeah. Me so. neither. <laughs> 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 if you two are going to say it, I'm going to say it. Yeah, I've done, done, well, I might have done a bit. Hang uh, on. Alcohol is a drug. Alcohol and cigarettes are the yeah, but, biggest drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, That's yeah. the thing. And alcohol kills more people each year than any other drug. Yeah. The does. second is cigarettes. But because the government get money from it, it. Yeah. they decide, oh, we'll put it in this category. But you can't have uh, a joint to relax your muscles yeah. uh, cuz if you smoke a joint you don't go out beating people no you don't run around with a knife and your yeah up no or stabbing people you just sit there don't you yeah. allegedly but they say oh yeah but you become psychotic that's a rarity yeah it is i think so i hate, I hate the hypocrisy of that mm. yeah it is so but apparently you know here i've done a bit of research on this uh, astronomers have calculated that christmas should be in june it just wouldn't feel right. No, it wouldn't feel right. He said, but they've charted a star, the Christmas star, which the Bible said led the three wise men. That's one of you, isn't it? Yeah. With your big afro and your moonwalking. Uh, it, we, <laughs> three wise men to yes. Jesus. Uh, they found that a bright star which appeared over Bethlehem 2,000 years ago pinpointed the date of Christ's birth of the 17th of June rather than December the 25th. I see... It's like the World Cup's going to happen next Christmas. Oh, it's a fucking it's joke. It's not feel right. The whole point since we were born is that June, July, Euros, World Cup. Yeah. Then everyone, everyone's in the shorts, and it's just going to seem weird. Yeah, but like, just because some place has got a load of oil and fucking shit human rights uh, record, they can have it because the set blatter went, ah, cheers, yeah. lads, I like that. Allegedly. Uh, so, yeah, so Jesus could actually have, like, two birthdays, like the Queen, couldn't he? Mm. Your mate. Mm. And next year, I can't wait. It's the platinum. And we have to Do you think she's going to be alive? Do you oh. think there's something wrong with her? Yeah, she's fucking yeah. old. No, 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 I know she's old. <laughs> the but hell no, she's, Yeah, elf, do you, and they're what, not saying anything. Yeah, what they did with Prince Philip was a very clever move because it pulled the wall over her eyes. Yeah. He went into hospital, and then they said, oh, it's nothing... And then three days later, he was still in the hospital. Yeah. And he was there for nine days. 
and they said, look, he's, he's going to die. Everyone knew in the rural circle, as soon as he got home, yeah. he died four days later. So with the Queen, um, she's 95, you things stop happening. Mm, you yeah. Your, your heart... Uh, you shut down, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You shut down. Because you must, certain things don't last that long. Yeah. So... I think, and she can't fly at all now. No, she can't fly. I fucking all. lost the ability of doing that, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Um, do so, I think she's so someone's going dead. wrong? Because she's getting on it. Mm. But I think this next year after the platinum, she'll have the cake. Yeah, if she ain't dead. Yeah. 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 Because even when we were in London, they were talking about. Like everything's already in place for when she dies, you know. Yeah, it's all reckoned, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything, oh, everything's all sorted. Right yeah. How they do it, how they announce it on the news. Yeah. And and everything, and it's going to be weird, but it's going to be exciting as well. Mm. But they're going to have to change have all the king. things, like on the policemen's helmets, isn't there? Everything and the plate, the post boxes, and everything. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Some company's going to make a fucking our fortune money, out of that. We're going to have a king. Yeah. Do you think they'll? Do you think? Charles will be king. Or Absolutely. Yeah. I, think think he'll, he'll, I think he'll be king for a couple of years and then they'll knock him on the head. He's got to be. He has to. Right, because he's... Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Camilla will be our queen. Yeah. And I just think it's Is so she a con consortia? I can't remember what the fuck No, word, she will it. be a queen. Really? Yeah. And they're my two favourite royals. Yeah. So, to me, it's, it's very exciting. Yeah. I don't consider Harry a royal now. Anyway, he could fuck off. That's going to be another discussion. That's got to be a discussion in the new year, folks. Yeah. Come back for the new year. Uh, so anyway, let's move on. What yes. were what are memories of Christmas? What's your first memory of Christmas, then, uh, Christopher? Oh, um, mine is being really young and going downstairs, and my mum had these old tins. And she used to make because we had no money, so mm. she used to make homemade mince pies. All right, yeah. And they were the better ones, though, oh weren't they? Oh my god! And I'd go unless you go Marx's, and we were allowed to watch the Carry On film. For some reason, Carry On films were on mm. dead late, like half nine, ten. Yeah. And watch Bob's them. getting a paps out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she didn't really have big boots. No, she didn't. I could never work that out. Why do fucking blokes always go over that? They well, got, it's yeah. like Holly Willoughby. Yeah. Like, made out all oh, big boots. She hasn't. No. Talk, you know, I think people got big boobs. Angela White. Who's that? Brilliant porn star. Check her out. <laughs> www.xnxx.com. Sam Fox. <laughs> Sam Fox. Yeah, she had amazing boobs. Yeah. Maria Whitaker. Yeah. Not I had a towel with her on it, with her posing. I left it in changing She's rooms gorgeous. at Leicestershire Cricket Ground after a night at the Nets. You know what I figured out as well, because I'm a boob man. Yeah. I hate it when women try and cover up that they've got big boobs. You ever heard of a girl called Billie Eilish? No. She's a singer. Right. And she's embarrassed about having massive boobs. And I saw her in concert on TV. And they were bouncing Talking around. to the mic. Come yeah, on. Sorry, no, sorry, no. sorry. Yeah. Her name's Billie Eilish. Have a look. Check out her <laughs> boobies. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, my memories <laughs> <laughs> were uh, going downstairs, watching the Carry On films, going into the kitchen, opening this disgusting old tin and getting these warm mince pies and running upstairs and eating them under my cupboard because in them days we didn't have duvets. We just my dad bought cotton, these, then wince yet things. The yeah, well, my dad bought these blankets from Nigeria, and they must they were crap, just crap. And you'd be freezing <laughs> like that, and you'd cover your head. No, I suppose in Nigeria, mind you, I suppose it gets cold at night, doesn't it? Though? Not really. Have you ever been to Nigeria? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I had to go to Lagos. I had to go. Kid. I did. Yeah, we did, and it was horrible. In what way? Uh, everything, the infrastructure, that, like, you know, in this country we have electricity, water, the, all the MPs there are millionaires because they don't spend the money on yeah. people. Yeah. So my auntie, a bit like her it. Name's auntie Labo, she's dead now, um, we used to stop at her house and luckily she had a generator. So you'd be sitting there watching, oh, and all they played was news. That was it. That was the entertainment. Oh, what should we do? Let's watch the news. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're sitting there and the, the lecky goes off and uh, it was madness open sewers so uh, just appreciate how lucky we are uh, yeah. honestly when I used to come back to England 
I was so grateful and I switched the lights on. Switched them off, on, running off, water. Off. We need to take things for granted. Oh, though, definitely. Right? Big yeah. time. Yeah. But then, you know you say we take things granted. It costs us. Yeah. We, we pay a hell of a lot. Yeah, but wouldn't you prefer to be paying or living it out there? Yeah, definitely paying. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, so you've had these mince pies yeah. under the blankets where you're cold. Yeah. And that's it. They, they, were, they were my happy memories yeah. of a childhood. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what were yours, Ada? <laughs> you know what? Um... <laughs> All right, your first memory of Christmas. That's your yeah. first memory of Christmas. I knew we weren't allowed downstairs till everyone were down there, but I just enjoyed it. I mean, I, I must admit, we had loads of presents. Just yeah. wanted to open them, really. Yeah, I can remember coming down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, go for it, mate. Look out. Mm -hmm. And I, I just remember coming down the stairs, and it was just like... Just, in Colville, we had Pally Toy, didn't we? Oh, yeah, with all the and, Star Wars. Yeah, and my family, I reckon they must have gone in there and nicked a fucking shitload of it because I had <laughs> Action Man and Star Wars and everything. So it was basically for the first so many years of my life coming down on Christmas Day and just seeing a massive presence for me and my sister. And it, we were spoiled little shits. So I say, I remember, like, remember the decorations. You don't, you don't buy decorations like now. We used to... Make them. Make yeah, them. make them. You remember them sticky things? You made, yeah, you'd, you made, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd loop them, wouldn't you? Loop you? Them and then you'd hang them up with blue tack yeah, and yeah. stuff. Cool. Some rings. Well, I, don't I, don't know. I think I, you just used to got a load of paper, didn't you? Yeah, Cut you them and, stick and them. then just fold them round, lick end, and then yeah, just stick right, them together. Yeah. yeah. They were fucking good. They were. You don't get none of this shit now, do you? Fucking crap. We are spoiled now. Oh, we are definitely spoiled. We're a throwaway society, aren't we? Oh yeah, definitely. You throw anything away now, don't you? You throw a fucking car away. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, what's yours? It is just coming down the stairs, and my grandma, uh, she'd be starting. To, I mean, my grandma used to get up at like four or four in the morning to put the turkey in the oven. Because then you cook the turkey for about eighteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> Something <laughs> stupid, and then uh, you take it out, don't you, so it can rest. So, you know, I know. What fucking let it rest for? And then like, then she'd be chucking all the. But uh, she was getting everything ready because my grandma used to be a dinner lady at Broom Lee's. Broomley's yeah, room. Yeah. Holy and uh, Josh, you're always falling out with fuckers there. So the people used to actually come over with these school puddings and stuff. It used to be great. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that was it. Just walking down the stairs, a massive presence. What sort grandma. of presents were you getting there? Well, I was getting like, like say, Action Man. I got all, you know, the, the tanks. Eagle eyes. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Uh, Bionic Man. Oh, you yeah. got, you know, where you I peeled his skin. Red tracksuit. Yeah. Eye, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, Oscar Gold. What was he? He's a sidekick with the glasses. Is it Oscar? Yeah, Oscar. And then right he had him with his blow-up suitcase. That's it, yeah. Yeah, you popped it up and there was like a thing, weren't there? Yeah. And then you could do something with his arm, didn't you? And his arm went... Yeah. And he'd lift up an engine. Good old... I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. The, the, you ever cut it open? Stretch it. Yeah. 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 Clue in the title, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Stocks, you know car. Yeah, you could get that, couldn't you? That were good. Standing over the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. Good old games, then. Eh? Do you remember... Hungry Hippo. What? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, um, they're all still out now, aren't they? Connect Fours and all that. All Terror that. Hawks. Yeah. Terror Hawks. Yeah. Zelga. Where is Zelga? Zelda, yeah. yeah. Some good old toys. Yeah. yeah. Proper toys as well, isn't they? Where you actually had to do something with them, not just like fucking put all a VR on. Space and that. Like. Yeah. You put a VR on now, yeah, don't you? Like, yeah. You're just like, what the but fuck? But you know what else I used to love? I used to love playing Monopoly. Yeah. Loved playing Monopoly when there's like six, seven of you. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah, I used to play uh, cards with my dad. All of us used to play cards or dominoes. Yeah, yeah. brilliant Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is in that city, isn't it? Now, so yeah, Good yeah, all gone now, mate. We won't be doing none of that, will we? It's not even fun with kids now, is it? I mean, when Ginge was about four, five, six, seven, it's it was alright, but it's it's just fucking shit now. Jackson will be fifteen on Saturday. Yeah. And I said to him, "Oh, yeah, what do you want?" And he goes, "Just money." Yeah. That's all he wants is money. Yeah. It's how the world's that driven age, now, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. we've told Ginge that she's having presents. She's got a job, so she has to earn the money now. And yeah. she's a fucking dickhead. That how old she is she now? Eighteen. She's eighteen. So, all right, folks, we've just had a bit of a chat about other stuff there. Nothing that concerns you lot. Um, so, uh, catalogues. Back in the day, you used to go through the catalogue, didn't you? Oh, don't talk to me about catalogues. Why? It was like my sort of first love horn experience. 
Well, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, yeah. you'd go, wouldn't you? You'd write down all the toys you want and, and you then look. you'd go straight to the women's underwear. You'd see a nipple. I'd yeah. see a nipple. Through that bra, yeah. there's a nipple. And you say to your mum, just take this upstairs, choose some of the toys. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's all I'm going to say. See? Hang on. You can see a pubes there. Yeah. A bit you of a camel's you toe. Torch. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Get your fucking magnifying glass so you can have a right good look. Oh, God, I still yeah. love Chase you enjoy getting to the women's underwear, yeah. Freeman's. Oh. David, why are these pages stuck together? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I've been worked out. Been rumbled. <laughs> yeah, so did you used to do that then? You do? Definitely. I, yeah, you always used to go to the underwear section, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, you'd, well, you would, wouldn't you? You'd write down everything. But I was just thinking, um, when I was doing this and writing it all out, it's like, can you imagine the pressure that you give your mum and dad a list of, I want a rally chopper, I want an Atari, I want this and I want that. And you think, fucking hell, how the fuck are you going to afford all this? Mm. How many brothers and sisters you... i just got the one. I've got the one sister. Yeah, so, I mean, there's six of us. You know, six? So, six? Yeah, so. You know what else you used to do as well? Talking to the microphone, did they? So, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know when you were a kid and Saturday morning TV was brilliant because you had Swap Shop on BBC One, Tiz was on ITV, but they'd all show, like, adverts for kids. Yeah. So when it was the build-up to Christmas, you'd say to your, your siblings, I'm going to have that. I want that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that. all the time. Yeah. Every advert that came Even on. Even the shittiest fucking <laughs> toy. I want, that. I want that one. It's like, do you remember that crap toy called Simon? Or Simon, Simon says. says, yeah. yeah. Oh, what you called? Yeah, yeah Simon. All that was four colours. Yeah. Yeah. But well, you had to remember them, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, fucking dickhead. Oh, yeah. shit. You can see I it. thought that was amazing. Yeah. Just, yeah. Funny enough, um, my uncle Steve, who's dead now, um, he could play that, Simon says, because he could remember the the because it was diff, four different tones, weren't it? Yeah. 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 He were really fucking good. I mean, obviously, he were blind, so he couldn't see the color. Yeah, couldn't see a fucking thing. Can't see now. Um, and anyway, he used to just uh, 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 and yeah. he, he, he were he were brilliant at it. He were absolutely he beat me and my sister at it. Mm. So it's like that bop it, isn't it? Bop it, just bop it, pull it, flick it. There's one like that. What are you talking about now? No, the same thing, the same sort of game, man. What about Case Catalog? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, folks. I really am. He only speaks you very limited. This is why we keep him quiet. Yes, it's called masturbating, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it. Yank it. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Pages stuck together. When you're downtown in the ship toy shop, I don't know. Yeah, but the thing is now, you don't get that, do you? Because I don't think Argos do the catalogue, do they? Don't they? I'm pretty sure Argos don't. You I know, when it always used it. to come out, oh, right. and like, yeah. they used to have pallets of the damn things, yeah. didn't they? I don't think they do it you anymore. else we forgot as well? Getting the goddamn TV times. No, because I've got that in the oh, script. Right. See, he's not read the script, Sorry, has he? Yeah. He ain't read the script. Do you yeah. know what? The amount of time I take him to doing this, and he don't fucking read it. I'm surprised he's watched the gay Santa advert. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, it's time for you now, Christopher, with your word of the cast. But this right. time it's a Christmas word of the cast. Is it? Yes. Oh, for I've fuck's sake. Oh, you ain't yeah. read the script. I'll switch the phone off. Bear with me. Oh, <laughs> just, just switching the new phone now. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give it a couple of minutes. Yeah. It's got to warm up like yeah, an old it's TV. It's got to... I'm boiling it here. I am. I tell you. Why is it so hot all of a sudden? I was all right if you watch earlier. Jack, mate, they say the same in their street. It's fucking red hot. Well, theirs ain't as small as this. So we'll have to do a top. Hang on, hang on. Might be all right. It's a bit slow, isn't it, for a new phone? It's supposed to be 5G as yeah. well. Yeah, we're in a box, though, aren't we? Uh, it is a nice phone, I've got to admit. Oh, it's, it is. Yeah. Feel the. Wait, I don't want to feel it. I don't want to feel it. Can you touch it? That's <laughs> you can do it from the side. That's why he says to yeah. his partner. <laughs> So, are we there? Right then. Here we go, folks. Are you ready? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. you got to do the, uh, the... We've got to put in the jingle, ain't we? Yeah. So, um, put the jingle in now. Chris's Word of the Podcast. Go on then, Christopher. Word of the day. <laughs> Gas! Word of the cast! Word of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what do you mean? I'll say it wrong again. What is it? Word of the cast. Word of the cast. 
But the thing is, it's not really Christmassy. It, oh, is that for, okay? Yeah, go on then. It's a good one. It's called, you ready? Yeah. Ersterism. Ersterism. I repeat, <laughs> Ersterism. <laughs> Do you know what it means? No, I haven't got it's a, a fucking clue. It's a great clear. word. A group of stars. Oh, so there could have been stars over Bethlehem. Yeah. We'll turn that into oh, Christmas, yeah, Christmas that way. There's a Ersterism over Bethlehem. There you oh, go then. Yeah, yeah, we'll 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 drag that in somehow. How do you spell it, mate? So people can um, have a look. A S T E R I S M. So you class it as four syllables. So you go as ter riz um asterism. If you think about it, it's like asteroid. Yeah, asterism. I suppose there is a. I like that word. The more I think about it now, yeah, I'll just a... switch this new phone off. <laughs> oh, beauty. For fuck's sake. There you go. <laughs> uh, now, Christmas on TV, like you've just said, Christopher. Yes. Uh, did you do it, Ada? Did you go through the Radio Times and see the what, TV Times? Seen films on. Ring it. it. I didn't ring it. I just. Did you? Really? I did. I did all the while. Yeah. In fact, I, a few years, I used to actually write down my own Radio Times. Did you? Yeah, so you knew what was... Well, you'd, you'd write it down. You still didn't fucking watch it, did you? Mm. Man would probably have given me a good hiding for writing in the TV time. Really? <laughs> probably... <laughs> but it was expensive. Yeah, well, they <laughs> are now, isn't it? Two quid or something. Well, I, I do a, a build-up to Christmas. When the uh, Christmas TV times comes out, I do a video of it. I do a review of what I'm going to watch and what not to watch. So they are expensive. Yeah. But don't you think it's weird how times have changed now where... Let's say I get the Daily Mail, I get the TV Guide, and there'll be so many segments saying what to watch on Netflix, what to watch on Amazon Prime. And you'll look and you go, oh, because I love watching um, box sets now. Yeah. And so there'll be this new program called, oh, it's really good. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Chris Rock. Uh, not Chris Rock, what's his name? The other guy. Kevin Hart. Right. All right. I think he's rubbish, but I do like, Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like Wesley Snipes. He makes me laugh. Show, yeah, he's good in it. It's called um, True Stories. Right. And uh, my mate Tim Smith, you remember Tim Smith? He ran me up last Friday and said, Oh, you've got to watch this program on uh, Netflix. It's goddamn brilliant. If you yeah. haven't watched it, it's called True Stories. And you go onto BT, you press record, it records the whole series. Yeah, that's it. And it's brilliant. Just how, it? Yeah, and like when we were kids, We'd have to argue about a tape and say, right, whose tape is this? No one's written on it. And yeah. then you put yeah. it in. You, if you look at the programmes, you've got... So your dad's porn, he's left that out. Yeah. yeah. Or the Generation Game or some sort of um, Danger Mouse special. And it'd take up maybe three hours. So you'd have to put LP instead yeah. of SP. Yeah. And then you'd record it and then you'd get up the next day Press play, and there's the um, dog walking show or something. And you say, What the dog hell is this? And your sister would say, Yeah, I, I, I recorded uh, it. was that woman, Mary Whitehouse. Who did the Mary dogs? Barrett? Oh, uh, Barbara Woodhouse. Barbara, Barbara Woodhouse. Woodhouse. So my, my sister was into dogs and stuff. And you'd start crying. Yeah. I, I would literally cry. Yeah, because there is no way. You see, kids don't realize how fucking lucky they are with Pause TV. Uh, yeah, go yeah. back, TV. catch up, catch up. Yeah, yeah up fucking. You tell you what, you know, you lot. Uh, I've just seen a load of lads in the co-op in Quad. You don't realise you're fucking born. You don't. I mean, you ain't got a fucking clue. So you can true. remember taping all your music on the old tape. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What did VHS stand for? There's a quiz for you. Video high sound. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of convinced myself. Yeah. Though. I thought fucking hell, I've got this right. Uh, video home system. Home system. Video home system. I was close. You were. You got video. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I used to after Christmas. I it used to be horrible when you were kids though, because when you, you the know, anti climax. No, after Christmas you wanted to go out and see all your mates, but everywhere was closed. Yeah, yeah everywhere. It's, 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 it's everywhere. Anti-climax. Everywhere was. It's a closed. bit like sex. Once you've done it, it's like oh fuck me. Go mm. wait another three weeks. You used to go <laughs> out searching for your friends, but you know you come into town and it was all it was dead. dead. Yeah. yeah, nothing. Came yeah, nothing there. happening with there. So, but the thing is about Christmas back then is that you had to sit down as a family and watch yeah. stuff, didn't you? Because although you did have your video recorder, you had like a James Bond film out on Christmas Day or you had a, a, a blockbuster, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. But now, they're out all the nah. fucking while, aren't they? That, that's what I mean. 
like they they make sure there'll be a big film yeah. that everyone would sit around and like would. Toy Story or yeah. yeah I don't know something big, but now you can stream anything yeah. anytime anytime you want. TV, um, film studios are putting it straight on yeah like streaming service. Well, it, Venom out soon. Yeah, it's yeah it is. Venom well, on, it is on yeah. cinema. That's, no, on, the yeah, latest but, one. Yeah, I think it's out on uh, Netflix or something. Yeah, so. I've seen it advertised actually yesterday. Yeah, yeah, fucking Martin ridiculous. Daisy did that new one. What was that called? Oh, the old gangster thing. Yeah, uh, the Irishman. Ne- that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I watched that on. It was fucking how long? Six hours. Fucking hell! I had to watch time. it over three days. You had yeah. to go back. Stephen Graham in it, weren't it? Yeah, he was good in it. Fucking brilliant. I yeah. like Stephen Graham. He but really is like, good. Um, I want to get him in here. Stephen Graham, if you ever watch it, I want you in the podcast. That'll be mate. good. Mm. Um, please, another please. Film. Sorry, I didn't mean that was a bit aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> There's another film, and it's come straight on. I can't remember it. What's just come out in the cinema? Venom, as far as I know. Yeah, or another one. Spider-Man, or? No. I've been to him for ages. You coming to watch The Matrix? Matrix is a new one, is it? Who's yeah. doing Do they it? speak into the microphone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's doing that? Keanu Reeves again. Yeah, they're all, yeah. Again. they're all in it again. They're all in it again, yeah. 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 Have you seen the trailer? No, I yeah. Right, when I yeah. get home, I'll send you it. Yeah. It looks bloody Yeah, brilliant. it does look good. It does it's look good, doesn't it? It's December the 22nd. Yeah. Because so. um, me and Kurt are going... So do you want to come? So, yeah, let's come. Been cinema for ages. See, you love this, folks, don't you? Yeah. I'm doing a podcast, and these pair just start fucking talking about <laughs> going pictures. Are you going pictures with them? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the good thing about this is because this is what this is what I like about the podcast is because people we just chat, don't we? Yeah. We seem to forget everything. I'm going off for fuck's sake. How are they going to listen to this? Right, <laughs> most watched cro- uh, program Christmas program. Do you know it? Got to be uh, Home Alone. Got to be one of them, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, well, let's go what, for what genre. Uh, well, we'll go for British TV, so like a soap or a comedy or something like that. The one I can remember where you had like twenty million people was the Malcolm and Wise Christmas show. Yeah, well, that ain't it. It's not. No. Give me a clue. <laughs> oh, he's I hate that. Sorry, whoever's this. editing this. You don't even hear fucking shouting that down mm-hmm. there. Yeah. When Den left. Bloody Den serves Angie with divorce papers. How many people Nine, watched it? Uh, Thirty point fifteen million yeah, people. That's rubbish. I can't. I can't watch them sort of program. I watched her. Uh, she was in a program the other day. Angie. Fucking hell, she looked rough. That is all her hair grey? Getting on, isn't she? Yeah. You don't know. You don't imagine. I mean, she's getting shagged by that badger shagger, isn't she? Brian fucking May. Brian May. But I like him as a human being. Yeah, he's all right, isn't he? Yeah, and he's so intelligent. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Second most watched. Christmas program. Only Fools and Horses. That's the third one, mate. The second one is uh, Corey, and it's Hilda Ogden leaves Weatherfield in 1987. Yeah, Hilda Ogden. Is that where she left? Yeah, 26.65 million. Because Stan died. we are as a Stan. Stan died, didn't he? Yeah. Do you Stan remember Ogden. the uh, bus stop in that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember? And that? the three... Ducks, yeah, on Elder's Wall. And uh, do, do you know what I always remember? Because now, if, if you watch it now, you'd be like, no way. Yeah. They would all smoke in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smoking cigarettes in yeah. the kitchen. I have to go outside. <laughs> oh, man. It's no. what, but it looks wrong now. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, it is. It, and, yeah, it's just shit, in it? Yeah, so Only Falls and Horses, Time on Your Hands, uh, the 29th of December, and I've fucking lost the year on there. Um, 24.35 million. Number four is the aftem- af- aftermath of Den's divorce papers with 23.55 million. I've got a question. What's that time hands? Time on your hands? What's that? It's when he found the the, uh, the watch, didn't it? And then they took it to Sotheby's and they oh, auctioned it off. Oh, and they clapped. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was worth loads, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. They made and me then that, Rodney maybe. goes and buys the rolls. Danny off, boy, say. Funny as anything, they are. He's and dead he, now. Boyce is dead, yeah. Yeah. Shame, isn't it? yeah. yeah. Fucking another one gone. Um, yeah, and then he like they come back in the pub, don't they? The nags head and they say, I've bought the rolls or something. Mm-hmm. You bought the rolls, I'll get the drinks, you bought the stuff. Uh, but Christmas TV audience, audiences ever. Now, I don't understand this because I've had to find this fucking thing. Uh, Crocodile Dundee in 1989 had 21.77 million. Only Fools and Horses, 21.34. Only Fools and Horses, just good, just good friends. Oh, How many Nicholas. times have you said that to girls? Oh, 
<laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I used to love that. Yeah. I loved the pureness of it. What, because she was friends? Just every just Yeah, I like Vincent Pennant, yeah. The music at the yeah. beginning. I loved how posh she was. Yeah. And she was so pretty. Yeah, she was pretty. And when she moved to Paris, do you remember? Yeah. And he, and he just seemed cool. Yeah, he did, didn't he? It was yeah. an, what was an ice cream salesman scrap man thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, Vince. Vince Pin. Wait, Vince Pinner. Vince, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were fucking good. But what See, was her name, the actress's Pen, name? Uh, oh, I know Penny. her name was Penny, no, weren't yeah, it? Yeah. Because she used to call her Pen. Didn't yeah. Her? What was her name? Fuck knows. I wonder what she looks like now. I bet she still looks quite... Oh, I bet she's Botoxed up to fuck because they can't age, can they? No. They can't no. accept can't take it, can't the fact you've got to get old. So no. They ruin themselves. Yeah, if you don't want to take Botox, just fucking feed yourself up and become a fat bastard like just me. Just drink loads of water. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand this Botox. No, Botox. I don't. I don't understand. Grow it's old like, gracefully. I remember watching uh, The Wicker Man and it had a really young... Uh, um, Blonde-haired girl. What was her name? Burke, not Kirkland. What was her name? She married oh, Bob Stewart. Sam, Sandra something. No, 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 no. Sarah. Something. You can tell we're getting old. No, yeah. Her name was. <laughs> oh, fuck Oh, knows. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. George. Somebody George. No, no. You're on about the other blonde. Because he likes his blonde. I forgot though. her name. But she was stunning. And yeah. She was in a James Bond film. It will come to me. Honor that. Blackman. Honor Blackman. I no, like her. No, no. She's dead now. Yeah, she's dead. And if you look at her now. Can you remember when I did the Deadpool terrible. at work? Oh, yeah. Steve yeah. Foreman won about 80 quid on Big Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big Daddy. And I remember you having Prince Philip on there, you know. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. I had Schumacher on there and all, I think. Did you? Yeah, just in case he died in a car in a crash. Shit. Yeah. Did you have Ayrton Senna? No. Don't think so. Don't know. Anyway, yeah. yeah. If you do a Deadpool at folks at work, folks, just get everybody's famous name, put them in a bag, get everybody to bang a quid in, and then you pull every name out. The first person to die wins the money. It's only like a fucking raffle, isn't it? Yeah. It's only like a lottery. <laughs> a bit of a nothing's, carb raffle, but there's, there's it's a raffle. Nothing sick in it. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> still racking my brains that woman's name. Yeah, I'm sure it was Sarah George or something. Well, I'm sure yeah. you'll get uh, in your car and put your nice posh phone on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we would ask him now, but it'd take too fucking long. Uh, yeah, so, like I say, uh, back in the day, you, you could you had to sit down and watch it, didn't you? But now kids have got uh, Sky, Netflix. Something. Go on then. Go on then. Bear with me. What was the name of Peter Sellers' wife? That ain't fucking Rod Stewart. No, Peter Sellers' wife. The wives of Peter Sellers included Lynn Frederick, Miranda McMillan, Britt Eklund. Britt Eklund. Britt Eklund. All oh, right. She was in The Wicker Man. She was in The Wicker Man, and she was stunning. Yeah, she is. I didn't realise she was in The Wicker Man. She's had that much surgery. She looks awful. Yeah, they overdo yeah. it, don't they? Shame, really. So, yeah, yeah, real right. shame. So, yes. moving on. Did you leave anything out for Santa Claus? Did you leave a mince pie and a bit of, what were it, sherry or port or something? I always used to. And a carrot for Rudolph? Um, no. No, I no didn't. you didn't? No. We're really? Black. <laughs> We're black. <laughs> we don't leave nothing out. Get We're dead tight. <laughs> when, when, the, when the six of you in the family, you can't yeah, afford you can't to leave. <laughs> can't afford to go throw fucking yeah. mince pies I about. I some leftover plantain. That was it. <laughs> All oh, right, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Santa Claus. Um, he was uh, obviously St. Nick. He was uh, born to have been be believed to have been born in around 280 AD. Really? Really. Okay. In Patra, uh, in Turkey. <laughs> what, Santa Claus? Yeah. So he's Turkish? Yeah, so that's why he's so I white. He was from <laughs> Scandinavia. Well, this is it, no. Apparently, uh, Nicholas's popularity spread, and he, he was been uh, known as the uh, protector of children. Mm. A bit like Jimmy Savile. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so he never left anything out for his reindeers either then. No. Can you name the reindeers? Yes. Go on, then. He's going to make these fuckers Rudolph. up. Well done. Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Casper. That's a fucking ghost. Bob. I, I Do you want a couple clue. of clues? <laughs> yeah. Dasher, yeah. Dancer, Vixen, the Prancer, Comet, Comet, uh, Comet, wow, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen, and of course Rudolph, which you've already mentioned. So, but apparently he didn't have his reindeers at the beginning of his like little um, 
walking around thing because he used to walk around delivering fucking parcels. Mm -hmm. The first mention of Santa's animal companions came in 1821 with an illustrated children's poem created by an unknown author. Was his uh, suit red all the time, or was it? I think a it was color? red, but a dirty red. Right, okay. So uh, the reindeers then received their names, as we know them, by uh, Clement Clark Moore's 1823 poem, mm -hmm. "A Visit from Santa Nicholas," uh, from Saint Nicholas. Sorry, I've fucking gone it here. Uh, there you go. Which was known as the "It Was the Night Before Christmas." Have you not read that, Chris? I thought you were a man of intelligence and knowledge, <laughs> fountain of knowledge. Just fake. <laughs> uh, the poem only includes a mention of the eight originals none whom had a, uh, was blessed with a bright red nose a uh, bit later the Yanks uh, Rudolph would arrive a bit later a bit like the Yanks in the war in 1939 Rudolph's red nosed reindeer appeared so 1939 Rudolph appeared mm. Mm. you're impressed with that I can fucking tell uh, <laughs> you know, when, we, when I was a kid uh, my dad used to get his mate called Racker to phone up when I was at my grandma's and says, hello, this is Santa. Have you been a good boy? And I used to fucking believe it. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? And I used to speak to Santa over the phone. The thing is, that must be so exciting. Yeah. It was Christmas. As a seven, eight-year-old who yeah. actually fucking believed in it. So yeah. I did the same to Ginge. I used to get my dad to phone up Ginge and say, what do you want for Christmas on that? She, she fucking believed it. <laughs> yeah. And then what we used to do is we used to uh, walk around the house, right, and I'd sprinkle talcum powder on my boots, on my work boots, <laughs> so it was like footprints, magic footprints of Santa. She fucking believed it. How old was she when she realised? Probably 17 or something. No, I think, to be fair, she did uh, realise at an early age uh, that Santa was a complete myth. Yeah. It's fucking hot in here, isn't it? Boiling. Yeah, it is boiling. Uh, so, right, so we've done that bit. Now we're going on to the uh, Christmas TARDIS. <laughs> so, hold on, we've got to put the uh, yeah, jingle in sorry. for the Christmas TARDIS. <laughs> Ada, Ada, you, Ada, you go well, first. Well, being that we were talking about <laughs> Bethlehem earlier with Jesus, and, you know, I would have liked to have been someone mucking out in the barn and to see if it mucking really, out, yeah, mucking out the donkeys and that in there, you know, what I mean? mucking out, and yeah, I want to see yeah. if they really did come in and because that's where he had his the baby, weren't it? Yeah, the manger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just would have liked to see if it uh, really, actually really happened. See if it really happened. Yeah, or if it's just. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the best thing is, it's like the birth of Jesus has just created yeah. so much fucking war, and yeah, trouble. Well, well, religion is, yeah, isn't it? it's just caused that many. But I'd just like to have seen if it really did happen. Because if you think about it, you asked the question once about Hitler, didn't you? Yeah. Would you kill Hitler as a baby? As a baby. And you think to yourself, well, hold on. Now, this is going to be blasphemous. But if you did Jesus, you might not have had all the wars that are happening now. That's a oh, fucking man. deep one, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is. Because to me, Jesus is just a story. Yeah, it's yeah. Dynamo. Like, it's Dynamo yeah. back in the day, in my book. Hitler... Was real. was real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck and me, it was real. You, but we learn from history, and you think if you would have killed him, would it have been someone else? Because everyone's mad. Right, <laughs> we're back. Um, oh, Chris is. Let me just put you to this. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello, my name's Prem. I'm calling from Movie Dental Care. Okay? Oh, you're all right. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, just a quick call. So, Mayor, who you saw routinely, is um, left practice now. He's, I'm one of the other dentists. He's asked me just to fit your splint for you and do your filling that's left outstanding. Yeah. So just a quick call just to get you booked in if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Um, what dates have you got? Uh, what's good for yourself? Right. Not next Monday. The Monday after. Let me just bring my calendar up. Yeah, no. I've got the day off work, you see. Hang on. Yeah, it's Monday the 13th. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a different date on your calendar. No, no, no. The 20th. Can we do the 20th? 20th? Yeah, give me a second. Uh, yeah, Monday the 20th. Yeah. Um, we've got the morning. We've got 11.15. 11.20, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's Anything earlier? Earlier? Uh, 
Um, no, we'll go for 1120 then. 1120, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. So I've got 1120 on Monday the 20th of December. So he says there's, uh, there's one filling left to do and also the splint that he's made for your top splint. Yeah. Because he's grinding, yeah. Yeah. Great. Right, so that's fine. So that's all him for you, 1120 on Monday the 20th. Brilliant. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Thank you for that. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Ah, so there you have it, folks. A uh, dental appointment on a three P's in the podcast. <laughs> oh, fucking believable. <laughs> Chris, what's your fucking tardiest moment? Right. Well, when I had decent teeth and I didn't need to book a fucking dental appointment. Mine is this. I would like to be where George Michael was on that no, oh, yeah, because he died on Christmas, didn't he? On Christmas Day. And the build up to it, because I loved Wham. Yeah. I, I loved George Michael. And He'd probably love you as well. Yeah, yeah, because we're just like that. And I know he suffered from depression because he kept on looking at old videos when he was in Club Tropicana. Yeah. And he oh, put loads oh, of weight hell, yeah. on. Because you're bound to, ain't you? Yeah, and he, got, and he became a recluse. And I want to know. If he took his own life or it was an accident, I'm just intrigued about mm. that night and about his partner because all of a sudden his partner wasn't there. Who's, who was his partner? That He was pain in the back. I don't know. He didn't get anything, did he? He didn't get anything in the will. And he tried to stay in the house. Yeah, squat. Yeah, squat. Mm. So uh, th that's my tardiest moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really a good one. That's Thank a very you. good one because I like George Mark, and I yeah. think sometimes mm. you do actually look back on your pictures in the past and you think, oh, "Fuck, I wish I was like that again." But it's, mm. you know, oh, I, mean? I do all the time. Yeah, but people say to me, "Chris, you do." Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. you're always sending me pictures of yourself <laughs> with your hair and that. Isn't, you know, <sighs> uh, mine, mine would be. I would like to be a, the music thing as well. Um, I'd like to be there. Band Aid. What, are they recording? Or yeah, the all yeah. these people coming. No, I fucking don't want to go to Ethiopia with all them flies, do I? All them kids wanting to eat me crisps. <laughs> <laughs> all this, all no, this so, yeah. what, to just do the recording or just to be just there? Just to be there. to see. you know how, how the history of it. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's like you've got all these... Uh, Pop people. I'm Real. not going to say this. I'm not going to say the stars because some of them are fucking weren't. But not a fucking drama. Mm. Um, Legends. Yeah, but... I, and like there was Paul an Weller. atmosphere, weren't there, between some of them, and you know, uh, just to see them turn up. Marilyn, what was he doing I there? I know it. It was the, it was popular at the time. Yeah. Um, but talking about that, what's your thoughts on when they did that? Pete Waterman did that stupid band aid too. Oh, and it had Bros, Kyle yeah. Minogue, Cliff Richard. It's about it was all their own the, ego. Big Boy Three yeah. or something. I think I think when they did Band Aid One. It were perfect. Well, it weren't perfect because there were people dying and stuff. And, yeah. you know, they their hearts and everything, Bob Geldof and Midger and all them, they had the but hearts in the genuine. right place. Yeah, that's what I mean. It, the hearts were in the right place, weren't it? They yeah. wanted to do good. They wanted to prove that, you know, people could come together, become as one and, you know, try and help out a fucking serious situation where the government should have been doing it. It shouldn't have been down to people and people turning up to pay a fortune for a fucking ticket to go and see them all at Wembley. You know what I enjoyed about that? Was how because people forget about Major. Major yeah. wrote half that song. Yeah, and but he also did Dancing with Tears in My Eyes or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, how him and Bob Geldof just rang people and said, "Yeah, right, come down. If you don't come down, I'm going to come and kick your fucking head in." But they all came down. Yeah, and if you look at the proper stars like Sting was there, Paul Weller, mm. you know, and I, I just thought it was just so. Unique because we've yeah. never seen anything like no, that before. No. I don't think we'll ever will and again I, with that impact. No, and I think we're too cynical now as well yeah. because yeah. we know the reality is when you give money to these countries, the government keeps no, it. Yeah, nothing happens. No, nothing when we happened, were younger, nothing. we were so naive. Yeah, yeah. well, but, I worked with somebody who said that before Band Aid, they'd, what, they'd actually put a load of pipes in the ground to run water all around these places, and then pipes are still there. Mm. Not before really? used. Yeah, they reckon the, the infrastructure's there, but they don't want it because if you do that, the government don't get the money. Exactly. So it's, it's crap, isn't it? Yeah. It's too rubbish. I don't know how true it is, but this lad says it were, and you know that's it. So yeah, so that's my mm. tardiest moment to mm. be there on Band Aid Day and just 
take it all in because it was who, a massive if piece you of were history. there who would you want to talk to uh george michael um in excess weren't there were they because i no. fucking love michael hutchinson in excess um i don't know bowie and all that kind of thing I, 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 like I say, I weren't impressed with people like fucking Banana Armour and all that manufactured shit. Mm. America yeah. did a version, didn't they? Yeah, we they did. Yeah. yeah. What, what was that called? We're following we the UK. We are the world. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think of that? I like the tune and I loved, um, I love Huey Lewis's voice. Yeah. And Huey Lewis yeah. was on it. Um, Diana Ross, Tina. Smokey Robinson. But they all came second because England did it. Yeah, first. yeah. And Mike, I, I loved Michael Jackson in them days. And he so. wore this sort of like Russian Tsar yeah. jacket yeah, yeah, with yeah. one glove. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it was so cool. So, uh, fair yeah. so all right, we're well, moving on because we've only got yes. a couple of minutes left before this place kicks us out. Favourite Christmas record? Oh, it's got to be E17. What, the old uh, Stay Now? Stay. stay. Yeah, I love it. I mean, E17. Does actually mention Christmas in that? No. No. Yeah. What's it's yours? a Christmas song though, wasn't it? My favourite yeah. Christmas song. It's got to be Wham for me, Last Christmas. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you've got My, Noddy and uh, Slade oh, and all them, haven't you? Mine, once again, a bit unusual, is uh, Elton John. Welcome to Christmas. Do you know he recorded that in knowing? summer? No. Yeah, he recorded it in summer. I just think it's just a yeah. proper Christmas pop song. Yeah. Mm. So, but... Uh, Mm. I think the last Christmas record, you know, it's like nothing's ever Christmas now, is it? No, no record at Christmas is a fucking Christmas record. No. I think the last one was The Darkness when Don't Let the Bells End, weren't it? That was a good one. Though. Yeah, and I think that was a play on words, weren't it? Bell ends. Was it? I think it was. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Don't Let the Bells End or something like that. Uh, most selling record was Band Aid. Um, I don't know how many albums it sold. Uh, Boney M. Mary's Boy Child, mm. number two. Uh, Wham's Last Christmas. Harry Belafonte, Mary's Boy Child. So, obviously, Boney M or somebody's copied him. Band-Aid 20 is number five. Du, 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 du. Uh, Slade's number six. That's been released on 73, 81, 83, 98, 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2010. God, Noddy Holder must be laughing all the way to the back. Well, he gets it, doesn't he, every, time, every year, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. But I, I think that I've read I somewhere. I thought it stops after yeah, a certain time. Yeah, it does. It stops after a certain time, don't it? Yeah, your royalties. But I suppose it? if yeah, you I'm think sure he's, if he's released it at 2010... Yeah, he's made some wages. He's, he's, will it be released... You know what I mean? It won't, yeah. I don't know. Or is it done on... Uh, number seven, uh, White Christmas. Uh, East 17, number eight. Cliff Richard, The Millennium Prayer. That went to number one. Yeah. Number nine, Johnny Mathis, When a Child is Born. Then you've got Good Yoko song. and John. Uh, Mud, Lonely This Christmas. Uh, Stop the Cavalry. <laughs> Band-Aid 2, 1989. Wizard. I wish it could be Christmas oh, yeah. at 19. That's that surprised me, actually. That has surprised me. higher. Yeah. So, that's, that's it. So, so, is there anything you want to add to this podcast? I'm bringing that to an end now because, uh, obviously, we've got to no. go. And it's been no, just I just to... wish everyone an happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, folks. I hope you get what you want. I hope you don't get a phone like this. Sound, you sounded dead cynical, then. Hey, you get what you want, <laughs> you sods. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got what you got planned for Christmas, then? Uh... Absolutely nothing. You got the kid coming round, or are you going to get him Boxing Day? No, I get him Boxing Day because we have to swap it. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to sleep, eat because I'm going to start my proper diet in January. I just I look terrible. Yeah. Yeah. You look a damn sight fucking I've better got than a, me. A belly now. Yeah. Fucking hell, I've had a belly. You look more wrinkly as well. Yeah. You're, you're getting on. Oh, right? I'm going to cleanse my body. Um, I'm not going to exercise properly because. We went to put the tree up last week and my knee went. Your tree up already? Yeah. Yeah, my tree's up. Is it? Up in the but, fucking loft. <laughs> <laughs> my knee's swelled up. You see that swelling there? Oh, God. Absolutely killing. My elbow, so... You fall into bits, man. Yeah, I'm not doing That's any more weight. Day. So I'm just going to diet and I'm going to do loads of cardio. What about you, Ada? Uh, just family. Yeah. Just going around the family. Enjoy it. Just sit, drink, and yeah, eat. be merry. That's yeah. the same with us. Enjoy uh, we've it. got to go around the sister-in-laws on Boxing Day, uh, do all the niceties around there. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just basically stop at home. I think our Christmas actually happens after Christmas. You know, what I mean, we tend to go out a bit more, uh, go and visit a few pubs. Just generally enjoy. Yeah. Everybody's died down. All the hysteria, all the fucking woohoo's, fucking died down, and I don't have to talk to people. 
um, and we could just sit in a pub and get drunk. That's so, what it's about. It is. Uh, right, so thank you once again to Grandma's Studio for this. Don't forget, if you want to do a podcast, you can come around here and they'll be gladly uh, happy to take you in. Um, I hope you all have a really nice Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. And we will be back and uh, we will be doing more of these, won't we? Yeah, and we're doing a Christmas record, so please buy it. Next year, (laughs) next year, right? We'll we'll sort something out. But we're going to record it in June. We're going to record it in June. That's June the month, not June my wife. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, and thanks. Thank you very much. And laters.